take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crown. Buy me some peanuts and some cracker jack. Thunder Liger, who yes, for, for, for guys my age, we grew up watching like Ultraman and Spectre Man on teams, and Jushin Liger looks like a, he could have been a hero or a villain on one of those shows. Yeah. 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 What a talented guy he was, too. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, I had the pleasure of going to Australia with him. I, I started hearing about him probably in... Um, Late ninety, early ninety one, uh, just because the, um, the like I was mentioned before, been at Millennium yeah, Japanese magazines down there, but um, also uh, he was getting over real huge. I used to read the dirt sheets and and the Observer always you know had had his matches and little stories. And then in ninety two they came out with a special. Uh, my brother ended up buying it. It's a really nice thing that uh, they had put together to the Observer. It was all about. Uh, Jushin Liger. So I had read that in like 92-ish. But then in 93, I got to go to Australia on a tour, and he was going to be on it. And let me just say, every night, he worked every night, of course. We all did. It was just a big, big tour, mega tour, if you will. And, um, man, he just tore the house down in every match he had. It didn't matter if he was wrestling Dean, uh, Chris, if he was wrestling a tag team match with, with uh, him and uh, Chris against the Malenkos. It didn't matter how he was matched up. I just sit there. Those guys are athletes. You know, they are athletes. And I would, this one place we were at, it had a, um, when I went up in a balcony, I was sitting there. It was like I was sitting in a church uh, just to watch him guys perform. It was just so smooth, man, and to see him. And then other things, he always kept his body in really, really good shape. He would, he would do two – I've seen him do 2,000 squats before a match before. I mean, he was Jesus. always doing four or 500. Sometimes he'd do 2,000, and one day he just got in his own. You know, everyone is doing their own thing. And I looked over, and, man, he was he was doing it for like 30 minutes. He knocked out like 2,000. And um, so they said he does it about once a week or he did it time. And and, um, you know, I don't guess he really wanted to work here in York. He's such a big star in Japan. So uh, the times he was on TV was maybe a tournament or something. I think he wrestled Brad. I think he wrestled Chris. And a few other guys. I could be wrong. Um, But, yeah, Liger, man. Plus, he... I think he ended up having his own cartoon or uh, maybe comic book after him or something because he came up that whole design of his costume on his own, grew his own hair out, and he made all that around him, you know, because I think in New Japan at the beginning, he wasn't really over it much, but once he went to Mexico and then Calgary and then back to Japan and he emerged as Jushin Liger, you know, that's when he really, really got over when he introduced that character. Like you said, people... People bought it, man, because they, they thought he could either be a superhero or the villain. It didn't matter. He was he was just over with that look. Justin Thunder Liger is one of my you know all time favorite wrestlers. You know, I was very lucky to spend eight years in Japan. He was one of my mentors, one of my trainers. I, I'm trying to remember. I think his look was based on a cartoon or a comic book originally. And yeah, I think he yeah, had I think his, it was comic book. Yeah, and I think he I think you're right. He did have a cartoon or a comic because I mean when he got over, he got over like big. Yeah. 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 そう
少しでも長く続けたいと思って、まあ、練習をしたりあの、まあ、節制ですよね食べ物を気をつけたりそういうのはしてくるうーと言えるかどうかちょっとわからないんですけども対戦相手戦う相手が手加減をするようになったそれが分かったら僕はもうやめると思います手加減されてまで僕は変で戦いたくはない Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update.